your boy guy in the truck here in this video i'm gonna talk about when you're a new carrier a new authority what that's like when you have to set up with other brokers or carriers because when you first get your authority unfortunately you can't just go on a load board and start booking loads even with uber and, and convoy although they're much easier to get set up you have to do carrier packets and that's what the setup process is usually it's um, a couple different things. A W-9 tax form that you have to fill out or have filled out and send to the broker. Author your authority letter that shows the FMCSA granted you access. Um, and you can, you're actually um, a legitimate carrier. And then you will have to usually complete a like sign their, the, the, the broker's broker carrier relationship agreement um, going over the terms of the relationship of the agreement and and proof of insurance that's pretty much it all, all I can think about off the top of my head but for for the most part you'll want to have those kind of at least like the w9 uh, handy so that in the end some brokers are good with just a uh, proof of insurance so you could have that handy but some you may have to actually have your insurance company issue a certificate and most of the time that that broker or carrier will want to be named as a certificate holder on your insurance and so it's important to understand how to do that with your insurance company um, either you can have them do that or if it's like after hours, I hope that you have an insurance company that where you can go in the online portal and issue that company, that broker as a holder on your insurance. And you can issue that certificate to whatever email or fax e email that they need uh, so that if it's after hours or something or you're in a pinch, you gotta, you're trying to get your truck moving and making that money. And you're trying to set up this carrier packet with a with a broker um, that you can quickly get that done on online real quick yourself, so that you don't have to rely on your your insurance broker to answer the phone and go through all the hoops with that. You can quickly do it yourself. And so in this video, I'm going to quickly uh, show you how I do that when I'm setting up with brokers with my insurance company. My insurance company is out of Michigan. I'm not sure if they're nationwide or not, but they have my insurance through Progressive. So they're like a third party with Progressive. So um, they're basically just the broker. But real quick, I want... So if any, any, of, any of you are looking to get your authority, and I've gone over this already, it's not going to be sunshine and roses as soon as you get your authority. You need... With a lot of brokers, you're going to need like 30, 60, 90 days of active authority. In my other video, I showed the top three, well, actually four uh, easiest brokers to get set up with. Uh, as soon as you're, as soon as you get your authority, you can start working with, and you can get great rates with some of them. So uh, it's kind of a disadvantage, though, for a carrier not to, if you're running the spot market and you can't kind of leverage all the other loads on the load boards because some brokers won't work with you uh, because your authority is new, newly active. Uh, so I'm gonna try to also either put in this video uh, like a downloadable PDF or maybe, yeah, maybe I'll try to put that in the description or something where you can uh, have access to what Currently, I'm seeing in November 2020, the bro the brokers that will work with work with you right off the rip, the ones that I have already done loads for, um, and then you can actually, if you use that load board, you can actually go into your profile or whatever, and you can put which brokers you want to see, um, and then then you know you, you you know, you can have the Convoy, the Uber app, the TQL app, Lipsy Logistics, and then put all the brokers that you know for sure with, without a doubt that you can work with and you can put that into your uh, system on DAT somehow. And then those brokers 
with those low uh, so whenever you're looking for a load those brokers will only show up and not all the because it it's really time consuming and annoying and aggravating um when you're going to book a load like i have been and getting hundreds and hundreds of loads and you're calling hundreds of brokers and they're all like oh you're uh, unfortunately we you get through the whole process of booking them the lo booking the load and then they're like oh well unfortunately unfortunately we can't work with you yet because your authority is still new and active we need 30 60 90 days or even a year for some of them uh for you for us to be able to work with you and then you're like okay thank you, you go on to the next one and then you run into it so i'm gonna try leaving so far i'm gonna try building up over the next couple of months uh all the brokers that i have done work with and maybe then i will uh post a video and then put it down a free, a free uh downloadable link where hopefully you you won't have to put your email or anything i just want people to have that because it would have been helpful for me um, I know another guy made a video and I did watch that where with the broker, but it was kind of outdated where the brokers who will work with new authorities, but it, some of them were correct, but some of them weren't that I found out. So, you know, brokers change their guidelines all the time. So it's good to have current news, current information to make our lives better. So real quick, I'm going to jump over and I'm going to quickly show you how, when I'm doing the carrier packet and setting up with uh, brokers, how I um, go into my insurance uh, portal and issue that broker a, uh, as a, a certificate of insurance as a holder on my insurance. And I can do that pretty quick. So here we go, let's go. All right, so let's jump in. I'm, gonna j I'm on my phone right now. So this is my portal for Peterson McGregor for my insurance company. So. Uh, let me see real quick. Uh, so like, so like I just I just set up with uh, Circle Logistics. That is one company, by the way, that will work with you uh, as you get your authority, and it's brand new. And so I I did the setup packet online with them, and now they need me to send, as you can see in this email. Uh, please forward this insurance certificate request to your insurance agent at your earliest convenience and blah 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 and then right here as you can see this is what I need to put in um, certificate holder information this this is who needs to be named on my insurance so I go over to my uh, portal account and I go to manage certificates and then I go to update holders information. And then you can see the ones that are already named on my insurance. I go to add holder. And then I go to name and I put assist assure or whatever, assure assist. And then I'm gonna go over to here and put in their address. I don't know if, I mean, I don't, Unit B, Simi Valley, California. A lot of the times it's not even the actual broker that does, that handles their insurance program. It's usually like third parties systems. And then I gotta put in the city, Simi Valley. Oh man, really? Simi Valley, California. And this way, I'm just going to um, quickly uh, name them as a certificate holder on my insurance, and then I'll, that will complete the packet. And then I'm then I'm able to book loads with them. Like I'll register in their system whenever I call to book a load. My freaking! It's hard doing this on the phone. And then I put in their email. It says send certificate to copy email. Email current certificate and email renewal cert. And then I'm gonna put their email right here. Gosh darn it. 
it's much easier to do on your um, laptop but I didn't I wanted to just quickly do this and then um, remember it is for attached certificates cancellations renewals only do not reply to this email okay uh, insurance agent certificate holder information Oh my goodness. And so then I'll just put in here attention um, circle logistics. And then I'll put certificate of insurance. COI proof of insurance. I'll just put that. <clears throat> and then I think I save their information. And then I go over here, manage certificates. And then I issue a certificate of insurance once I have their hold, the holder in there. Hopefully I'll be able to do this on my phone. I might not, I might have to take it in. Uh, I might have to go on to my um, flipping. Uh, yeah, oh, okay, so I clicked, I clicked the, uh, the uh, certificate that I wanted to issue and then I clicked the company that I want to issue and then I go down here. Do they receive renewals? Yes, this certificate was previously itch, issued certificate. Um, and then it's, it should be all filled out for them. And then send me a confirmation and submit, and then we'll be good to go with them. And so that's pretty much it for them you know and it looks like congratulations you've completed your carrier packet with circle logistics so thank you for registering we look forward to working with you we're not done yet we still need you to send a copy so that's that that's that's how i um that's how i uh when i'm filling out a carrier packet with a uh, broker um, that's how I do it in my system really quick. I, yes, I could email or call my insurance agent, but honestly, if I'm not in like a super busy, like I'm not driving or if I'm driving, then I'll call my insurance agent and have them do it. But most of the time when I'm booking a load, I'm obviously sitting and, um, I can just get it done myself much quick, quicker than my in agent would. So I don't have to call her, email her, blah, 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 blah. So anyways, if you're a new carrier looking to become a carrier, make sure you get DAT Trucker's Edge load board. It's the best load board out there. I use it every day. Um, you can find that link in, in my description below. Um, and, uh, you know, keep your truck moving, stay profitable. And I hope this video helped. Don't forget to like my video, subscribe and comment down below what you think of it. Uh, let me know what I can do better or what I did good. Until the next time, peace out.